All right, Donnie, are you ready to play this here game you suggested we play? Because I'm ready to run a supermarket better than, uh, well, you. Joe, you can barely run the country. What makes you think you can run a simple grocery store? Well, I mean, uh, I don't know, but I am the president, so obviously I can do uh, things. The only thing you can do is be a fucking idiot 99% of the time. All right, well, let's just start playing the game. Is this multiplayer or what? No, we're just going to be playing single player on our own worlds while on a Discord call to see who's better at the game. Maybe if multiplayer comes out, I can kick your ass in the game like I'm going to kick your ass in November. But wait, I thought November was like a week ago, wasn't it? Oh, I can buy food. That is kind of the point of a supermarket, Joe. But anyways, we have $50. We have $50 to start making this supermarket a beautiful, bustling commerce haven to feed the populace. Fifty dollars isn't much. Like, I can't even buy cereal, bread, and flour. Well, then just buy some of the cheapest products to start off. It's not rocket science. Okay, I got some bread, flour, oil, and pasta for just 48 bucks. There you go. Man, I only got one dollar and 88 cents left. That's funny, because I bought some products, and I have three dollars and 48 cents. I'm already doing better than you. Fuck! Damn it. Ah, there we go. I finally opened the damn box. I kept accidentally throwing it. And I'm gonna make this pasta extremely expensive so the fools give me more money. Ha 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 ha. Oh, shit! I didn't know Ron DeSantis had his own bread. I thought you called him Ron DeSanctiminous. Or, uh, however the hell you pronounce that nickname. I don't call him desanctimonious anymore ever since he endorsed me. The best president ever for president. The best president of what? A carrot farm? Since you look like one. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Oh, interesting. This game apparently takes place in Iowa. Oh, good, because Iowa is Trump country. Great. Now you just made me hate the game a little bit. All right, so it looks like the market price is at three ninety six. I'm going to round it up to $4. Most people will pay $4 for, I mean, it, it's absurd. But four fifty, you know what? I like my oil. I'm making it five dollars, and then the flour I'm gonna sell at three thirty nine a pop. Holy shit! This lady is ugly. Joe, it's probably not such a smart idea to call your potential customers ugly. Too bad. All right, I guess I'll just open up the shop and start raking in the cash. All right now, when the day starts. It's it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be slow at first but it goes from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. All right, we're officially open. Now look at this showman. Look at him. Oh. I've never seen anyone so sexy. Oh my gosh. Already. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. All right, $41. Boom, boom. I uh get out of there. Get out of my store. I'm going to make this bread super expensive so I can make a bigger profit. Oh, shit. No, that fucking ass hat took the bread before I could set the price. God damn it. Yeah, that's why you set the prices before opening up your store, dumbass. Yeah, yeah, whatever, bitch. Oh, man, I hate doing math. Uh, how do I get my money? Oh, there we go. Oh, look here, Joe. We even got a bike. Just don't go using it or you might fall off it like a complete doofus. At least when I fall off things, I don't cause a 6.9 magnitude earthquake like you. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Uh, I wonder what happens if this car runs over that empty box. Ah, I'm being run over by this car. Help, help. It keeps pushing me. Stop it, you stupid fucking Volkswagen. Oh, good, I'm free. Fuck you, you stupid asshole driver. Enjoy your fat stack of pennies, sir. Actually, that reminds me. I'm probably gonna get a fat stack of fries from Mickey D's later. I'm more like Mickey D's nuts. So, uh, how much money have you made so far, Donald? $42.26. What? I'm only at $14.88. Told you I'd be awesome at the game and you would suck balls. Yeah, well, no one cares. All right, you ugly bitch, you better go into my store. Yeah, that's right, get. I'm having the time of my life. A hundred dollars a change. What the fuck are you doing? There's the, the, dude, like, get out of my fucking store. Get out, get out, get out, get out. 
Hi. I'm here to just buy some flour. Okay. You have fun with your t two fucking bags of flour. What are you doing? Do you just fucking eat it by handfuls? Oh, well, I guess all I have is flour and bread and oil. Maybe I should work towards getting a product license as soon as possible. No, it's not theft. You're just a poor son of a bitch that should just get more money like the rest of us. Let's fucking go! I got my first $100, baby. Dude, how the fuck are you making so much money so fast? It's like you're uh, cheating or something. Sleepy Joe, it's quite literally impossible to cheat in this game. I mean, unless you hire a really good coder to hack into the game to give yourself more money or some shit. That sounds like a pretty good idea right about now, because I need a few hundred dollars just to order enough food. And look at this ugly ass looser. Speaking of which, I'm going to order some more pasta and uh, let's get some more cereal, too. Oh, shit. I'm running out of pasta, too. Oh, nice. I finally reached the hundred smackaroos. It took me until fucking 6 p.m. to finally have double the amount I started with. This is going to take forever. Joe, will you fucking quit being an impatient bitch? No. Have fun with your flower slut. All right, it's almost closing time. No, I wanted to make so much more money before the day ends. You can always make more money on day two. Oh, there's going to be a day two. Well, yeah. What did you think, Joe? We were going to play the game for five minutes and then just call it a day? Well, I didn't know how long the game was. It can go on infinitely. Just like the radius of your stomach. Shut up, dick face. Now, they love the cereal. You can see they love that. Wait, no, no, no. No, I can't sell them. That cost, you asshole. Five fifty. Yeah, Baldy, come over here with your money. Ugh, I hate having to type this shit in. All right, the first day is over. What did you end up with, Joe? Um, let me see here. Uh, I ended up with $139.28. What did you get? I have $93.22 in the bank, but I spent a lot on a few products like bread and cereal before day one ended. Shit, and those fucking customers wiped me clean yesterday. I gotta get like every product. Jill probably wiped your ass clean too. Hey! Oh wow, a nice tower of boxes. This Amazon shipping thing is doing God's work. So, uh, I almost sold out of oil. Apparently, a lot of people are getting oiled up. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a lot more of that fine oil to sell today. You and your goddamn oil, Donald. That shit is bad for the, uh, you know, the weather and the clouds that I find myself shaking my fist at from time to time. Not that kind of oil dipshit. It's vegetable oil. Though I wouldn't be opposed to cars running on veggie oil, though it might make me too hungry for fries, because that's what the roads would smell like. Wouldn't cars have to run on potatoes for them to smell like fries? Also, speaking of which, when were we going to be able to sell produce like potatoes and fruits and shit? Um, not sure. You have to keep leveling up to buy more product licenses. It's probably going to take a while. Ah, oh, come on, man, but I'm already so sleepy. Just wake the fuck up! Well, hopefully the pudding I had earlier will give me some energy soon. And, uh, I think I'm going to build something out of these boxes like a tower or a fort. Since I got so many of them. You do realize you can throw the boxes out in the trash, right? But why waste perfectly good boxes? I'm just going to keep all of them. Suit yourself, then. The Trump store is open, folks. How dare that bitch not come into my store and buy my wonderful products? Well, maybe because you do things like call your customers a bitch. Dude, you called one of your customers ugly and then another one a slut. Well, they were. Oh my God, the amount of drip is immaculate. Look at this man. White suit, he better have a shit ton of money. Looks like he doesn't because all he got was two boxes of cereal. You cheapskate. There's so much other products you could have bought douchebag. And this lady looks like that lady from Shark Tank. Shark Tank? I didn't know they could fit your fat ass mama in a tank. Okay, shut the fuck up, ass munch. The fuck you talking about the flour isn't expensive. You just need more money, you dick. I'm just going to put the Choco Peak at $6.50. I mean, cereal for 6.50 is completely outrageous, but not by Joe Biden's economic standards. You know, even though it's basically the human equivalent of cattle feed with sugar in it. Oh, so your mother must love cereal then, since she is quite the cow. You know what? Speaking of cows, you literally smell like a fucking cattle farm with the amount of shit you leave in your old ass diapers. 
When I had to leave the White House on January 20th, 2021, it smelled completely fine until you showed up. Literally, the moment you entered the building at 12 p.m., I could smell the shitty aroma slowly coming towards me, and I had to hightail it out of there. You just mad that you had to get your fat ass out of the White House so that I, Jill Hiding, I mean Joe Biden, could come in and get things done. The only thing you got done was getting the dollar store to amp up their $1 price to fucking $7. Too bad the Dollar Tree isn't an actual Dollar Tree because, uh, well, you know, that would solve the problem of things. Pam Zadi, pasta is too expensive. Well, maybe you shouldn't be a broke bitch. Get some more money like me. I'm hustling. If you're not hustling, then you are the one with the problem. I'm sorry, but if a $4 box of pasta is too expensive for you in today's climate, then you really need to start thinking about getting more money. Dude, you have like $3 billion. You could give $10 to each American, which means they could buy two boxes of pasta. Actually, I'm now worth $6.4 billion thanks to my Truth Social merger, the best platform on the internet. So now I'm two times richer in Joe. You still two times dumber than all the dumbest people combined. Um, well, shut up, you stupid fucking fat fucking ass hat fucking butt fuck. Wow, great insult, Joe. But uh, anyways, I've got to make $200 to... See, I'm not going to let this game trick me. It's, it's trying to get me to purchase a product license for $200. It wants me to be in debt so that I go to the bank for a loan. Well, I won't do it. I won't do it. I am fiscally responsible. I'm better than any other entrepreneur out there. I use my own debt. I'm in debt to myself. Yeah, well, you've brought that upon yourself because of the court cases and, uh, you know, the things that you did that were bad. I was being facetious, butt face. I literally just said, a moment ago, I'm $3 billion richer. I'm nowhere near close to being in debt. $80, dude, you're killing me. 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. All right, have a good one. Thank you for coming. Okay. All right, well, uh, change $16. All right, have a good one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. All right, I'm going to just, uh, what's the price on this? Man, people are buying up that oil and the pasta. Try uh, making the pasta real expensive. That's what I did. Then you'll make more money. People are buying the pasta just fine. I don't need to adjust the darn thing. I'm doing very well. Dude, what the fuck? This lady's hair is literally glitching out. All right, well, it's 9 o'clock. Time to finish the day. Ooh, okay, I made a profit of $131. 0.87, and I got enough to buy extra food for tomorrow. How you doing, Sleepy Joe? Well, my butt is itchy, and I think I have to do something as president in a few hours. I don't remember what it was. Oh, my God, Joe, I meant how are you doing in the game? Oh, uh, well, I got 366 bucks, so it looks like I'm doing better than you. Your ass probably just got lucky. There's no way you're going to do better than me next time. Yeah, well, I'm going to make my prices skyrocket so I can have an even bigger profit than you. You already do a good job at that in real life. Fake news. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to head out and take a quick stop at Dairy Queen. When are we playing this stupid game again? Um, how about tomorrow around 6 p.m., right after my McDonald's run? Run. Please, Donald, don't ever try to run. You may cause a few earthquakes from all that weight. And please, Joe, you never try to run either or you may trip on a leaf.